right. I'm guessing we're live here. Hello, everybody. Appreciate y'all joining me. Uh, this is the first time I'm doing this. Uh, don't ask me anything. It's a live Q&A where I just wanted to come on and go live with y'all and let y'all ask me any questions about myself and music, anything going on, uh, and also just chat with you, uh, get to know y'all a little bit better. Uh, so feel free to chime in, uh, say hello, even if you don't want to ask me something, just uh, say hi. I uh, appreciate it. Uh, I guess for now, uh, I'm just going to, hopefully some people uh, come in here in a little bit and say hello, ask me something, but if not, I'm just going to talk and um, I guess tell you a little bit about myself, what I've been doing, what's been going on. Um, I guess one question I'm asked a lot is, uh, how did I get into music? How did I start music? Uh, I guess that would have to be, uh, I guess I was in middle school. Uh, Azalea Middle School. Uh, well, actually, uh, what I guess got me into that before that was uh, when I was in fifth grade at Dodge Elementary School. Um, the band directors from Azalea Middle School came out. Uh, I guess they were starting to recruit early uh, for uh, for sixth grade band, so they had everybody in the cafeteria and uh, they had all the musical instruments lined out you know the drums and the flutes and the clarinets and trumpets and everything uh, and they just asked everybody to go around and look at something pick something they liked and then they uh, started letting everybody play with different instruments uh, and looking back on it I didn't really think about it then but now looking back uh, you know like uh, I was playing the trumpet they had me play the trumpet uh, but before I played it you know, there was like six other people that played it, and I don't remember them actually, you know, cleaning the mouthpiece, wiping it off, you know, what, no sanitizer, no soap or water. Uh, so I'm pretty sure we all, pretty much everybody in that cafeteria, shared the same spit from all the different instruments. But I guess back then, there really wasn't that big of a deal, you know, because it wasn't, wasn't COVID to worry about or nothing like that. So uh, I guess, you know, mono was probably about the only thing you really could worry about getting. So, um, but um, that was, uh, but anyway, they said that I liked the, that I did well on the trumpet. Uh, and I said, oh, yeah, that's cool. It was either play the trumpet or do home ec. So I decided to, uh, to play trumpet in middle school. So that's what got me into that. Um, so you got here. I got a question from uh, Miss Rebecca Myers. Uh, she sounds familiar. Uh, Rebecca wants to know what is your favorite concert you've seen. Uh, I guess I'd have to say Kiss. Uh, and actually, that was uh, with my wife. That was an awesome concert. I had a great time. Uh, so, uh, Rebecca, if you if you happen to see my wife. Tell her, uh, so, you know, that was a great concert. And actually, the second time I saw Kiss, uh, first time I saw him was in Minnesota, which is a great concert, too. They just put on an awesome show. I'd love to see him again. They said this was their end of the road tour, but I have a feeling they'll probably still do something, you know, while they're still alive. I think Gene Simmons loves to make money, and if there's money to be made from touring and still doing concerts, I'm sure he'll do another one. So, uh, but I'll probably be at it, you know, wherever they're at. So, um, anyway, um, that was, um, a good concert. Uh, um, any other questions? Uh, hey, I also got, uh, April on the phone, uh, on the line, the internet, whatever you want to call this thing. <laughs> um, she says, oh, why did you start singing? Uh, actually, um. I sang uh, a little bit in church choir uh, just because all my friends were singing so uh, but it really wasn't you know anything I really uh, felt like I you know had to do or wanted to do you know it was just something that I did and I really didn't I think I did one solo you know it was fun uh, but uh, it really you know it wasn't you know that huge part of uh, what I was doing at the time um, but then um, when I was like at work, uh, I worked at Dick Russell's Barbecue, uh, and I'd be singing, you know, along with the radio. They always played 
if you've ever been to Dick Russell's, you know in the mornings I usually play uh, like kind of easy listening big band you know, type music, and in the in the evenings in the restaurant they play uh, country music like KSJ or whatever. And they also have a, a tapes that they play, but so I love country music, and they play some good country music. So I would be singing along, and uh, some people would hear me singing, "Hey, uh, uh, you sound pretty good." I'm like, "Yeah, whatever." Uh, but across the street. Uh, from Dick Russell's was a club, a bar, hole in the wall called Norman's, and on Sunday nights uh, they had a talent show uh, and a live band. So uh, when I turned 21, I was able to actually get in there. So I went over. There were some friends from from Dick Russell's from work, and uh, the band was playing. I said, "Hey, we got the talent show going on tonight. You know, uh, I think it was like a uh, hundred bucks if you if you won. You know." And I was like, "All right." Uh, yeah, that'd be cool, you know, but I didn't really want to do it, you know, I was like, I don't know, so finally the, you know, people said, hey, you gotta do it, we heard you sing, you sound pretty good, so, uh, I went and got the talent show, um, and, uh, but, you know, they asked them, say, do you know this song, no, you know this song, no, this song, no, um, there's like two songs that they knew that I kind of knew, and that was either the Eagles, uh, Desperado, which seemed kind of high at the time, and then there was George Strait, the, co the Cowboy Rides Away, so I said, I'll do the Cowboy Rides Away. So I got in, uh, got up there. They called me up, say, hey, and uh, uh, so I started singing. And I forgot the words, had my eyes closed, you know. And so I just struggled my way through it, you know, and then uh, and then kind of limped away. Uh, but anyway, when I got done, it was just a really uh, uh, huge rush. And I really, I really enjoyed it. Uh, so then, then I was back. Again, the next Sunday night, uh, by then, though, I had me a cowboy hat on, and I was dressing up like Garth Brooks and stuff, uh, and they had uh, karaoke bars around town, so I started going doing all the karaoke, so it just really something I really, you know, really took to, really enjoyed it, uh, and I felt like, uh, hey, it's you know, something, you know, I could do, so I thought it was really cool, uh, so that's why uh, I really got into singing, tried a few different bands uh, 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 over the years, uh, a couple times. But uh, more or less, wanted to to drink and party, uh, than really be serious about it at the time. So um, uh, that that's how I kind of got into singing. Um, hello. Alrighty. Um, so um, hey, what else? Uh, yeah. So the um, uh, so the. Middle school was the beginning of music for me, uh, and then that's when I got into uh, uh, actually listening to different types of stuff. Uh, so growing up, I listened to country music uh, a lot from my parents, uh, a lot of oldies, uh, and then my brother, he uh, liked a lot of rock and roll, uh, like the uh, Eagles and uh, Kiss and stuff like that, uh, a Kiss t-shirt, uh, um, one of the... Uh, um, that's what I got. Uh, what's one of my favorite songs to sing? Uh, one of my favorite songs to sing. Uh, I've done a lot of them so far. Uh, I was sitting over the last week, uh, Sunday night, uh, Brandy or a Fine Girl. That's one of my favorite ones to sing. Uh, it's always fun. Uh, a lot of George Strait songs. Uh, love to sing those. The, the Chair was always uh, one of the first ones that I started singing on karaoke. Uh, so, uh, and, uh, said, um, I think what some other ones, um, uh, uh, Old Enough No Better, uh, Wade Hayes, that's a good song to sing, uh, I'd like to get into that, um, uh, and, I said, um, uh, try to sing a, a few more, um, but of course now that I'm, you ask me the question, a lot of them draw blanks, <laughs> I'm sure I'll be singing a lot more um, uh, on the on the Sunday night live shows that I do. Um, I said I enjoy doing the request, so please keep on requesting songs. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, it gives me more more stuff to practice. Uh, get into get into practice. Um, so. Um, yeah, but like I said, I liked uh, a lot of different uh, styles of uh, music. Uh, like I said the, or like you know, country. Uh, I love George Strait, um, uh, Blake Shelton. Uh, it's cool. Uh, uh, 
Trouble, Travis Tritt. That's another fun one, which I did uh, the, uh, one of the nights. Uh, I love singing that. Um, and then, um, I like rock and roll too. Uh, so, you know, like Bon Jovi, Kings of Leon. Um, they're always good. Uh, for listening to, uh, uh, I don't sing uh, much Jimi Hendrix, but I love Jimi Hendrix. Uh, I was one of my favorite artists. Uh, but, um, I guess also being in band in school was when I started getting into more classical um, jazz type stuff. Uh, so I still listen to that. Uh, I don't think I'll be performing any classical or jazz music on um, my Sunday night live shows. Though, but yeah, who knows? You never never know. I might 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 buy me a tuba one day and get back into practicing it. And uh, that's what I as I played trumpet in middle school, uh, and then and then in some in high school, and I switched over to tuba. Uh, Actually, I had um, a friend, Paul Curd, uh, uh, they needed tuba players uh, in high school, uh, so he said he was going to help them out play tuba, you know, and of course, you know, whatever Paul had to do, I had to do, so uh, if he played tuba, then I, then I had to play tuba also, so uh, so we started playing tuba together, uh, and it was me, him, and an uh, old friend, uh, Derek Carlton, who, uh, Passed away now. He's a good buddy of ours, but um, we all we was uh, the big tuba squad. But uh, but thought about going to school uh, or college uh, on scholarship. Uh, but my options at the time I thought were to be a band director or a professional tuba player. At the time, neither one of those really interested me. But uh, uh, looking back, I realized there was a lot more. Than just playing tuba or being a band director. Not that there's anything wrong with being a band director. You know, it's a cool job. You know, so uh, Mr. Dawes, Dr. Dawes now, one of my favorite teachers. Uh, so uh, I did a great job. Um, but um, yeah, one day though, you know, I always say I want to get by me a tuba and start playing again. I'm sure my wife would love me to bring home a tuba and start playing it. Uh, she played French horn, so maybe we could. Start a, a brass duet, you know, go on the road, you know, Frenchy and Tuba or something, I don't know. You know, she'll have to come up with a, a cool name. Um, but, um, anyway, so if there's anybody else there uh, watching, uh, say hello. I'm just here doing a little uh, first time live QA. Uh, so, uh, I'll take any questions y'all have. I'm just running my mouth right now. So, uh, hopefully, some of the stuff is interesting. But, uh, I just wanted to. To know a little bit about me, you know, how I got into music, what I've been doing. Uh, so if you're out there listening, just say hello. Let me know you're there. I appreciate you joining in. Uh, if you got any questions. Um, I guess one thing I can talk about is, you know, the new music that I'm doing. Uh, I said, uh, I said I know, well, when I was in Okinawa, Japan, back in the Marine Corps, I recorded Solid Gold uh, album, uh, which is much strictly... Country music, you know, old, uh, you know, I guess classic country sounding is a good way to describe it, uh, which, uh, which is really cool. You know, uh, I love that type of music. Um, but I also love rock and roll, and so this time around, uh, I've decided to do, you know, rock it up a little bit. I've still got a couple of country-ish songs that I'm uh, working on that I will be uh, singing and recording uh, that may not be quite the, you know, you know, uh, classic, you know, Merle Haggard, uh, George Jones type country, uh, but, you know, it's, you know, it may not be the, uh, you know, the, the top 40 pop country either, though. You know, I'm going to try to find a good balance between it, uh, you know, but uh, also, I said, I'm trying to get into a little bit more uh, rock and roll, bluesy type music, too, like uh, Breaking Point, which I just uh, released. Uh, I think it's kind of falls in more of an alternative rock. You know, I've heard it compared, you know, kind of psychedelic, uh, indie, uh, progressive, you know, we have a lot of different uh, genres placed on it, uh, but, you know, I like it, uh, you know, try to kind of maybe stick along in that kind of vein of music, uh, try out some more stuff. Uh, if you haven't heard it yet, you can uh, check it out on my website, DarylMyersMusic.com. Uh, I got there in the video. There's also YouTube, uh, Daryl Myers Music. I got some videos on there. And, of course, uh, obviously you know that I'm on Facebook. Uh, I appreciate you joining me. Uh, but uh, it's also Instagram and Twitter if, you, uh, if you're into that. Uh, but 
Also, uh, so the, so I'm gonna be working on some new songs. Um, next one is a, a tribute to my fellow Devil Dogs. Uh, it's a Marine Corps tribute song that I'm working on. I'm releasing in November on our Marine Corps birthday, uh, 10th of November. So I'll uh, be looking forward to that. Uh, it's kind of more of a blues rock uh, type song that I'm working on. Uh, hope y'all enjoy it. And all the uh, if you download it, I want to take donations, any uh, uh, donations, proceeds from it, um, donate to a local uh, veterans uh, charity organization, not sure uh, which one yet, so uh, I said I'm looking forward to that. Um, we got a, any other questions out there from anybody? So, uh, who we got here? Um, Daniel. Hey, Daniel. How you doing, sir? Heart of Rock and Roll. Huey Lewis in the News. It's a good song. I can give that a try. <laughs> the... Yes, Rebecca, you are a peaceful, loving angel. <laughs> All right. So the... mm. Rebecca wants to know when I'm going to take her to Bora Bora. Um, your guess is as good as mine. I guess uh, we, can, we can find a uh, a ship to stow away on. I guess there's ships that go to Bora Bora. Where is Bora Bora anyway? It sounds. I know I've heard of it. it sounds. Sounds somewhere in Latin. Latino. Latinish. That word. I don't know. Uh, anyway. Uh, Alright. Uh, trying to think. Uh, so. Yeah. So. Record new stuff. Uh, plan on releasing a few more singles um, out. Uh, that's you know, and, and of course, and hopefully by the fall of next year, I'll, I'll have enough for a full album. Uh, so I'll probably uh, you know do maybe uh, 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 at least a few more here and there, and then uh, of course there'll be some unreleased that I'll just do a full album, include what I've already released uh, along with that. Uh, so. Trying to shoot for at least maybe ten songs. Uh, we'll see how it goes, and uh, of course, a lot of it goes to you know the uh, the time and availability. You know what I have to. I want to try to make them as good as I can. Uh, also, too, I've got to um, kind of show you a little bit how I record what I've been recording. Uh, this coming Saturday, uh, I'll be releasing what I'm another segment of Studio Saturday, Saturday Studio, uh, whatever you want to call it, uh, where I'm, I got a Recorded some of the behind the scenes, how I recorded and uh, breaking point, how I record, and some of my songwriting recording processes that I use, uh, different equipment. So, uh, be looking for that Saturday. Uh, it'll be coming out. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Uh, so, I'll try to do some more of that. Uh, hope it's interesting. Um, and, of course, Hope y'all have been enjoying my content and everything on the, the social media. Uh, please let me know what you like, what you don't like, what you want more of. Uh, of course, I've been doing the um, this day in music, uh, kind of music history uh, type stuff every day, and uh, you know, some daily humor stuff. Uh, you know, hope, hope y'all enjoying that. If uh, not, let me know. You know, then I'll do something else. Uh, but I need your input, and uh, hope I'll make some posts. Uh, hopefully I'll respond to them. Let me know what you like, what you don't, what you like to see more of. Uh, of course, I'm, of course, I'm hoping you like my music, so I've been trying to put more music out there for you. Uh, hope you haven't been bombarded too much with uh, the promotion of uh, Breaking Point and other stuff. But uh, if it's uh, uh, that I figured a lot of the stuff, you know, uh, different people on at different times of the day of, uh, of social media, so. Yeah, I figured I'd post it multiple times so maybe everybody can catch it, see it. Uh, said, um, Daniel asks, uh, is the equipment you work with better than what you had in Okinawa? Uh, actually, uh, yes, it is. Uh, that's one thing I go over in the uh, the video that I'm uh, releasing Saturday. Uh, kind of talks about what I what I was using uh, and uh, what I am using now. Uh, and just uh, one thing I mentioned is just the technology, you know, in the past 20 years is amazing. You know, some there's, uh, if there were some things that I could have done back then, and, you know, that uh, the, are available. Uh, and I didn't know about it. You know, I had learned about it. But a lot of it is just because, you know, the, you know, the technology has uh, gotten so much better, uh, especially with the software. The, there's a lot of 
uh, even I still you know uh, uh, use some outboard gear uh, like uh, when I'm going live or whatever uh, I'll use a compressor uh, and a effects processor that I'll, I'll, I'll use but as far as like recording uh, like breaking point uh, all the uh, effects and everything were actually uh, in, in, well, plugins you know inside that software you know uh, so like the the reverb and the delay and uh, some of the other uh, uh, EQ I said uh, I didn't have to have an external piece of equipment you know with it it was all software based uh, and then uh, there's different things like for your microphone you know I have a a decent microphone. Um, I think when I bought it, you know, uh, actually uh, several years ago, uh, it was uh, like a, a $300 microphone. Uh, it's still uh, great today. But um, one thing they have is uh, they have uh, plugins where you can, you know, make that, you know, you, know, you can take like a $100 microphone and you can uh, make it sound similar to another, you know, microphone, uh, which you know uh, costs like a thousand dollars. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's amazing what you can do uh, with this stuff. So I'm still learning, you know, uh, I'm learning stuff every day. Uh, YouTube's great, you know, get in there and try to, how do I do this, you know, or how can I do that? You know, so there's tons of stuff there online, which I've been using. Uh, you can ask my wife, you know, sometimes. Of course, normally, I, you know, uh, I don't pay attention to her a lot, but, you know, but even more when I'm on YouTube learning or watching the video, uh, of course, you know, uh, she's talking and I'm really not paying attention. I got my earphones in. You know, she slaps me every now and then and lets me know that, hey, I'm saying something important. Listen to me. So I take out the headphones and listen to what she has to say. So, uh, but it's part of, you know, part of learning, you know, teaching myself. So uh, I appreciate you being patient with me, Rebecca. Thank you for not, you know, beating me up too much. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the, uh, Daniel says he had a 56K modem back then. <laughs> yeah, so I... I, I remember feeling the feeling the pain of the the modems uh, and all the uh, it's weird trying to you know get on. I remember AOL on AOL uh, online. I think it was when I first uh, started getting online. You know all the you know the good old days. Uh, actually, I still have a an AOL email. Uh, uh, Bamaboy four two four one at AOL dot com. Yeah, and now you know my email, so you can always shoot me an email if you want. You know, the, the, of course, I prefer you uh, music related. Send it to Daryl at Daryl Myers Music dot com. Uh, then again, please check out my website when you get a chance. Uh, so uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, so Saturday I'll be going. To, uh, the video is kind of long. I hope you don't mind. It's like twenty minutes. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'd need to make them shorter or longer, but Saturday just let me know if you. I don't know if you can stand sitting through 20 minutes of me talking about music stuff uh but you know, maybe some of y'all will maybe some of y'all won't you know but uh anyway check out what you can fast forward through the parts that you don't like um but see uh let's see, do, 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 do. see uh, yeah the editing software uh daniel ask is the manage the editing software is a whole lot better now um uh, yes it is you know Tons better. Uh, so I'm able to do a, a whole lot more with it. Uh, I said, you know, they got, you know, free uh, software, uh, which is you know, a lot of stuff online now that, uh, of course, some of it's limited, but even the free stuff, you, know, you can do tons, tons with it, you know, compared to what you could do back then. Uh, so I'll try to think if there's anything, uh, any other questions anybody has? Um, anything else I want to try to mention? Uh, and I appreciate everyone joining me uh, on the on the Sunday lives, uh, and um, I don't know if anybody's on Instagram uh, and YouTube. I'm trying to build up a little bit more of a following on those sites, and uh, but try to change things up here and there. Maybe do uh, you know one thing live on Facebook, do another thing live on Instagram, and do another thing live on YouTube. Uh, yeah, try it out, kind of see. Uh, I think I only have. Um, 70 something followers on Instagram now, uh, and only like 15 subscribers on YouTube. So, uh, and of course, I got a you know, a little over a thousand followers, you know, people, more people, and then on the uh, the uh, uh, regular Daryl Myers Facebook, uh, I got a, uh, uh, a couple thousand, a few thousand there, and they haven't moved over to the, the music site yet. Maybe one day they will. So, so I've been doing mainly 
Facebook stuff uh, since uh, more people are there. So if you know of any more people on those other sites, you know, send them to those sites so uh, I can maybe build up those sites a little bit better too. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, so you can do multiple platforms at the same time. Uh, for like live streaming, you mean? I can I can stream on uh, YouTube and Facebook and Instagram all at the same time. I did not know that. I'll have to look into it. Uh, that's that's always it's an option. I can try that too. Uh, yeah, I saw two where I could post it uh, on my um, on my website. You know uh, where people can uh, you know stream. Uh, I can have a link live stream there too. I thought about that too. So I'll have to look at it some more. But uh, so maybe I can include the. Of course, the 15 people that are probably following me on YouTube are probably the same 15 people that are following me on Facebook right now. <laughs> so I don't know really what it would do, but uh, you know, but I guess there's a, uh, you know, I guess you know, it'll still be streaming. So maybe some random people, you know, on the on the group can, you know, on other sites may it may pop up in their feed or something. Who knows? You know, but, you, know you never know. It's always uh, all I need is that. You know, one person, that one person tells somebody, and that one person tells somebody, and then before you know it, you know, the whole world knows about Daryl Myers' music. Makes sense. Wishful thinking. <laughs> one day. Um, um, I think um, if there's anything else, uh, I'm sure there's a lot, tons of stuff that I could talk about, uh, but um, I'm going to try to keep it under uh, you know you know 30 minutes tonight getting uh, close to it so if you have any other any, any questions anybody has uh, see, um, yes this is a kiss t-shirt uh, one of my my favorite bands uh, me and uh, Rebecca I was talking earlier got to see him uh, was it this this February time flies and, you know, when you're having fun, uh, it was in um, New Orleans. We got to see him, but uh, I think uh, is there any? Um, let me ask y'all: Is there uh, any genre of music you think of? So I've, I've been doing country. I said, um, you know, trying to do more rock and roll. Uh, have Teetered on more, you know, uh, some more uh, popish type stuff. Uh, you know, the breaking point. You know, some people said it was kind of a, uh, kind of an indie, kind of had an indie pop kind of feel to it. I don't know. So uh, I don't know uh, how how pop I could go. You know, uh, especially with my voice. My voice. You know, um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get it to sound. Uh, and it, I can naturally sound country. You know, I can even add more country twang into it if I want to. Uh, but uh, you know, uh, as far as the, you know, um, I don't know how far extremes I could take it. Uh, let's see, New Year's Eve is that when we went went and saw him? Well, I've said New Year's Eve, so is that when we saw Kiss? Thought it was in February. I don't know. We've been to New Orleans so many times; it always it's always kind of hard to, to know when uh, when we did what and where. Uh, I'll be going to New Orleans again here soon for Rebecca's birthday on uh, September the twentieth. She turns a big four zero. I know I'm not supposed to say your age. And I'm probably going to get kicked in the butt for that, but she don't look a day over thirty. Happy birth, happy early birthday. Everybody wish Rebecca a birthday. Anyway, we're going to New Orleans uh, for her birthday weekend. Uh, it should be a good time. Uh, anyway, it's like it's getting close to the you know, 20, uh, 30 minute mark here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, appreciate everybody joining me. Uh, so, you know, it's getting close to my bedtime. You know, that's why I don't have to cut it off kind of early. <laughs> so, uh, as old folks, you know. Uh, but I appreciate y'all joining me. Uh, let me know if you like this, uh, if, if you enjoyed it. Uh, I've enjoyed it, just talking. Uh, i got to get used to talking about myself more. Uh, speaking of which, the Fox 10 uh, contacted me uh, 
Uh, a couple days ago, I said they are looking, interested doing a story on me. Uh, they're supposed to get back with me, more information. So, I'm not sure when it's going to be or how it's going to be with the Corona thing. I think uh, I may have to record a video and send it to them. I'm not sure. I'm still waiting to hear all the details back. But anyway, that'd be Fox 10 News, um, the or Studio 10. I guess it's their morning show. So, I'll be looking for me on there soon. So, uh, hopefully. Um, but anyway, I said I did a the Lanyap uh, newspaper article for last week. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, get you a copy of the Lanyap or uh, look it up online. Uh, but they interviewed me for a story, so I was talking about myself then. So, so these good Q and A, uh, ask me things, uh, kind of help me talk about myself more. You know, I don't love talking about myself, uh, so uh, I like y'all to talk about me. That'd be great. Yeah, I'll talk all the way and get online and talk about Daryl Myers' music. Oh my God, it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. Anyway, I appreciate it. But um, anyway, if you like it, uh, let me know. Uh, I'll uh, try to do more of them. Maybe uh, trying to, like I said, do the the live Sunday shows at least once a month now until I get up some more stuff and maybe do it more often and then maybe do the Q and A once a month. Uh, Whatever is clever. I uh, appreciate you joining me uh, and. Y'all have a good evening. Be safe. Uh, don't forget to share all my uh, uh, stuff online. And uh, if you like people, like the music, please share it with them. Tell them to and tell them to share it. I appreciate it. Have a good evening. Thank you very much. And I will catch you on the flip side. Thank y'all. Take care.